Listen. To what? The wind. If you listen closely, you can hear the cries of tormented souls. Yeah? How do you know? It's an old legend. All right, class. We're taking this pathway to the meeting area, so come along and stay together. What's gone? My locket. My grandmother gave it to me for my birthday. It must have fallen off your neck somewhere along the trail. Can't be that far back. Come on. I don't think it was this far back. It probably fell off, I don't know, in the parking lot. I don't think so. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Bunny. I can't believe I was frightened by a cute little bunny. Aren't you cute? <laughs> but it was a rabbit and it was like half another creature. tale from the imagination of Becca but, Tom. But Mrs. Crandall. Becca, save it for creative writing class, all right? All right, class. We have orientation in half an hour at the meeting area. So let's get going. And this time, please stay together. I'd like you all to meet Mr. Blankenship. He's in charge of the nature center here. Welcome to the wild. Of course, you guys are probably the wildest creatures around here. You're here to observe the wonders of nature. And there are thousands of them, from plants to animals. Each one possesses a unique quality that enables it to survive. Snakes like this one are one example of a species that have survived millions of years. They're built in sensors that enable them to survive the perils found in nature. They're fast. And they adapt quickly to their surroundings. They are also expert hunters. On the food chain, a mouse is lower than a snake. But to a truly magnificent creature like the snake, a mouse is a delicacy. What you're about to see happens virtually every second in the forest.
thank you, Mr. Blankenship, for that um, enlightening demonstration. Okay, now, class, uh, for your first assignment, um, I want you all to pair off. And then I want you to go and pick up a clipboard and a compass and look for other examples of the food chain at work. Then we'll meet back here in one hour for lunch. Oh, in class, please, it's important that you stay on the paths. We don't want you to get lost. Hmm? Hey, let's get going. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Hey, Benji. Here's an example of the food chain at work. Gross. Looks like someone's cabin. I bet it's on hideout. Let's check it out. Looks like no one's used this place in a while. What are you doing? Exploring. Come on, Beck, it's locked. That usually means we're not supposed to open it. It's not locked, it's just stuck. There's a difference. Better go, Becca. Come on. Coming. What is this place? Rose. This isn't a good idea, Becca. I'm just looking. I'm not gonna drink it. What was that? I'm not sure. We better find something to clean this up. Check this out. Oh, I just have to find something to clean this up. Becca? I think we've got bigger problems. What? It looks like Blankenship Snake. If it is, it got a lot bigger. What are we gonna do? What's he doing? I don't know. He doesn't seem very happy.
This morning, she's telling the truth. We found this old cabin with these, these slimy things, and they made this like, and then the snake came out of nowhere. And oh, yeah, and he's chasing the killer bunny. <laughs> no, wait, no. show me the cabin. It's no use. They don't believe us. Well, should we tell Blake and Shippen Crandall? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be very understanding when we tell them we broke into an old log cabin full of weird creatures and test tubes and then escaped from a giant snake. It could happen. Sleep, Kelly. Okay, now you're right. Try to go to sleep. I can't. Okay, maybe this will help. What is it, Becca? She Becca, go back to sleep. Oh, it's that noise from the thing. Don't you want to know what it is? Uh, not really. Then you come on. We agreed to forget about that cabin. I can't. Now, come on. There's no one inside. You shouldn't do this. Something is going on. Are you sure no one's in here? It's just a bad bone. Becca, look. There's something definitely going on in here. We are going to find out exactly what it is. Benji, look! some kind of experiment. Who's doing that? Ah! Be careful, you'll hurt them. What is going on here? Mr. Blankenship. We were just... You kids are trespassing. Has anyone else been here? No. Benji, we were just curious. Sorry I snapped. Important research. What kind of research? I've been experimenting with crossbreeding. In those test tubes are the seeds of an entirely new species which will be better adapted to their environments. Imagine. 
imagine. An ordinary turtle with the speed of a cheetah. That rabbit with the lizard face. You made him? Yes. An early creation. We should get back. His turtle's probably looking for us. Oh, I'm sure she's sound asleep. And, um, we should be too. Oh, but I haven't told you about my greatest achievement. I have created a new dominant species. Imagine the adaptability of a snake combined with the intelligence of a human being. The ultimate predator. And you're the prey. Is it dead? It's only skin. That buzzing sound. I don't have a clue, but I'm not sticking around to find out. Blankenship is. Do you think we should say anything? Oh, right. You think they laughed about the lizard bunny? Try telling them that the science teacher was a man eating snake. Yeah. See what you mean? Not one bite the whole trip. In the last 10 minutes, I've been bitten 10 times. Me too. And I'm getting some kind of skin rash. Uh -huh. I'm glad that's over. Old blanket ship won't be bugging us anymore. <sighs> You got that wrong.